All right, we're with Daniel at the Chop Shop, your uh, re-grand opening. How's it going? It's going great. As you can see, there's a lot of people here, and it's loud. <laughs> so what was the uh, kind of idea behind the Chop Shop, and where, how did it all start? Well, um, we wanted a salon that was a little less pretentious than uh, all the other salons, something where people could feel a little more at home, kind of for the everyday person, you know. Not everyone wants to go down to Yale Town. Not everyone wants to go over to Robson Street. There's people that just want a, a haircut and enjoy themselves. This is a little rock and roll. This is a little different than your regular haircut place. There's a lot of art and creativity, and there's a lot of murals in the back. Uh, is that kind of part of your background, or where do you bring that inspiration? Well, I think that's it's the essence of everything we do is art. You know, uh, I like to bring in local artists. I like to bring in local technicians. It's about creating a community, making sure that everyone can get involved in. All our cars are handmade. Our paintings are hand-painted. So there's a real authenticity that uh, supports this company, and we love supporting local artists. That's what it's all about. Talk about the challenges of being a small business here in Vancouver, and uh, it's a it's a tough environment right now. And uh, kind of your progression, how do you how do you kind of dealt with that psychologically, financially, that kind of thing? Well, I, I mean, owning a small business is it can be deadly. Uh, the government gives you very little support, and I think that every time you turn around, there's some new law coming in or some new tax coming in, and we have to know how to do this. I mean, people spend five, six years in university, become CAs, and as small business owners, how are we supposed to have that knowledge? at our fingertips so it's really important you surround yourself with the right people but yeah I think the government can be a little easier on us and I think you know even your telephone your internet everything's more your property taxes are more because you're a small business owner so it's really difficult to get over that hurdle and understand all the laws that go behind it and so your business partner is a longtime friend. How do you balance this uh, friend and business thing? It's quite tough for a lot of people. I, I think like anything, it's like a marriage. I mean, hopefully you marry your best friend. I mean, you have to trust in order to and to grow. And and with that gentleman, I mean, I I give him my life and, and vice versa. And I know that at the end of the day, he isn't going anywhere. It's perfect. Great, thanks.